Minima is a new blockchain that is about to launch on mainnet in the third quarter of this year. The developers saw a common problem with most proof-of-work blockchains, and that is mining pools. This is particularly illustrative with Bitcoin when you see large companies and factories basically setting up mining firms instead of their own production and then mining Bitcoin. So you cannot really say that every household has a proper say in the network when you have such large players. This kind of defeats the whole purpose with which cryptocurrency was created, and that is decentralization and anti-censorship. Based on this, the developers of Minima thought why not make the network so lean and lightweight that everybody who is using the network can run a validator node. It was founded in 2018 with quite a different approach to decentralization in mind. All the communications on a network happen directly one node to another node, or in a true P2P fashion, point-to-point -point as however you want to call it, and this is a form of a distributed proof-of-work blockchain. Because the transactions happen this way, point-to-point, -point, there is no incentive to have more computing power or more hash power, and therefore the network is invulnerable to the 51% attack. The security is made sure here by having more nodes in the network, which is quite an easy task considering that you can run the full validating node on your phone. The whole ecosystem is set up in several layers, where a minima blockchain is the first layer one. On that layer, you set up the initial relationship, so that's where you choose that this node is going to communicate with this node. This is the only thing that happens on-chain and gets validated by every node in the system. Then we move off-chain for direct person-to-person -person communication. The transactions happen on layer 2, which is supposed to be faster and cheaper than executing them on layer 1, and since we want the very lean and very lightweight blockchain, this makes sense. There is an additional layer between layer 1 and layer 2 that is used to connect the two nodes. So when you first establish the relationship on Minima, on layer 1, you use Maxima to connect the two nodes and then execute them on Omnia. So all the transactions happen directly between people on this layer 2 called Omnia, and they are only processed by those people who are interacting in the transaction, and that is why it is so fast and easy to execute. This is analogous to how Bitcoin Lightning Network works, uh, however, as the developers said in the docs, it is a more advanced version of that. What's important here is that Omnia also supports smart contracts. All the fun and versatility happens as layer 3, that is dApps. Dapps that are built on Minima can use these three main functions that the whole ecosystem provides. That is the value transfer, that is using the layer 1, information transfer, that is using Maxima, and basically unlimited transaction speed, because it is happening person-to-person, -person, on Omnia. What's also cool about dApps is that you can use one of the three popular programming languages, either Java, CSS, or HTML, to develop your dApp. So what are the use cases of this ecosystem? For example, mobile operators can issue their own tokens for users to pay for the mobile network. They will also enable exchange of data, let's say do banking, play games, anything you can do on blockchain, you can do with Minima. At the moment, running a node for Minima is incentivized. Every day your node is active, you earn one Minima token. The nodes are very easy to set up, I don't have much technical ability, but I was able to do it on my laptop, I will show you how I did it right now. To earn the incentives, you need to register for the program using your email address that you won't lose access to, then you set up your node on the computer or your phone, and afterwards you connect the node to the incentives program account using an ID that is given in your account overview. This can be done on almost any platform, that is Android, Windows, Mac, and Linux, and in next year they are planning to introduce iPhone as well. Once your node is up and running, you can start participating in the testnets, that is testing out the dApps, the mini dApps as they are called actually, because they are on a phone. There is a very comprehensive guide in the docs to how to do that and how to download your mini dApps, I will leave the link in the description. You can set up as many nodes as you like using your incentive ID. However, only one of them is going to be incentivized, actually. So, there is one minima token not per node, but per person. However, you can still earn more than one minima token per day, and that is by inviting people to using it. 
every day the person who you invited runs their node, you earn 0.1 minima add-on to your one minima per day. All the incentive programs are running until the token generation event and that is in the quarter three of this year. Now let's have a look at the tokenomics because it is quite interesting since there are no miners, so there is no way to distribute the tokens after the mainnet launch, so the supply is fixed straight away and also allocated as well prior to the mainnet launch. So the majority of all the public allocation is made available through a series of community incentive programs that have been running and their grant program as well that you can participate in. 16% is also reserved for the public sales. There are two of them. There is a pre-sale happening in quarter three of 2022. 5% is allocated for that. And the second sale is happening at the token generation event that is for 11%. And straight away, you're going to have 5% unlocked at the TGE and 6% are going to become available in 12 months to you. 30% is for the incentives and 5% for the grants. There is 14% for the team and there is a seed round, a private round and a second private round. As for investors, I was only able to find the information on the first two rounds. So the seed round was for $2.5 million. It was in December of 2020 and it had blockchain ventures in lead. Then we also have a Series A for $6.5 million, so overall there is a $9 million investment into it. The lead investors were H Crypto Asset Investment Fund, Dex Ventures and GSR. Now let's talk a bit about the Ambassador Program. The Ambassador Program is open to everyone. When you join Discord and communicate actively in the chat and invite many users into it, you earn experience points. The more experience points you have, the higher tier you are. So at the very high tier, you become an ambassador and each tier gives you more and more perks and that includes even early allocations. As for the main at launch date, it is not officially established yet, however, to be expected in quarter three of this year. In one of the videos, it was only one, so it is not 100% true information. Uh, it was said that three partnerships and are going to be announced before the mainnet launches and as of now there has been one major partnership. This summer Minimo partnered with Mobility Solutions called Mobility X Lab to create vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communication tech. So this is probably more in the proof of concept stage at the moment. However, what's important for us is that this Mobility X Lab is also known for communicating and being in close contact and work with Volvo Cars, Ericsson, CEVT and Polestar. And these are big names that could mean a very good and bright future for Minima as well, if any of their solutions are going to be implemented. The listing on exchanges of the Minima token is planned for quarter four of this year, so the events are quite tightly packed. So I'm hoping that we're going to be on time with the mainnet launch in quarter three of this year. I mean, if we are not on time, then we have longer time for the incentives program, which is also not that bad. So I guess you should watch out for the news from Minima Token, that is Twitter and Discord. And this is exactly what I did. I went in Discord and I found new information that the TGE is postponed due to market conditions until February next year. And see you in the next video. That was all I wanted to tell you. Bye.